Contemporary Duty Handbook, a guide for traveling to sight. Eternal Blue. The purpose of this handbook is to provide proper procedures and guidelines when traveling on official business. It's collaborated to enable the delivery of 700. Eternal Blue is a cyber attack exploit developed by the U.S. National Security Agency, or NSA. Blarney engineers and analysts indicate high quality in both voice over IP and video teleconference collection. It exploits a vulnerability in Microsoft's implementation of the server message block SMB protocol. This vulnerability is donated by an entry CVE 2170144 in the Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures CVE catalog. The vulnerability exists because of the SMB version 1 server in various versions of Microsoft Windows mishandles specially created packets from remote attackers. No one should ever have contact with a leasing company. The NSA did not alert Microsoft about the vulnerabilities and held on to this as a weapon for more than five years before the breach forced its hand. According to Microsoft, it was the United States NSA that was totally responsible. Purposes, FBI recommends following an indirect route between NSA and covert sites. The agency has refused to discuss or even acknowledge that they lost control of Eternal Blue's cyber weapon to a small, unidentified group calling itself the Shadow Boxes. Unless reporting your identity could compromise an operation or site. To this day, the FBI still do not know whether the shadow boxes are foreign spies or disgruntled NSA insiders. All parties to provide correct and accurate information. Eternal Blue first installs itself in a private network, then conceals internet activity to access hidden servers. After a brief 24-hour incubation period, the server then responds to the malware request by downloading and self-replicating on the host machine. The malware even names itself WannaCry to avoid detection from security researchers. By the end of 2018, millions of Microsoft systems are still vulnerable to Eternal Blue. rogue tool is hitting the cities of the United States. In May 2019, Baltimore struggled with a cyber attack by digital extortionists exploiting Eternal Blue. The attack froze thousands of computers shut down email and disrupted real estate sales, water bills, health alerts, and many other city services. Eternal Blue relies on a flaw in Microsoft software. Though the company had issued a patch, many systems remained vulnerable two years later. Before it was leaked, Eternal Blue was one of the most useful exploits in the NSA cyber arsenal. The analysts spent almost a year finding a flaw in Microsoft software and writing code to target it. 
Last year, Microsoft, along with Google and Facebook, joined 50 countries in signing on to a similar call by French President Emmanuel Macron. The Paris call for trust and security in cyberspace to end malicious cyber activities in peacetime. Notably absent were the world's most aggressive cyber actors, China, Iran, Israel, North Korea, Russia, and the United States. The truth is out there. 